Natomas, and now we head off to the standoff. That's taking place in Davis, and with that, Sean Bennett is on the scene for us there. Sean? Yes, Sam, we can tell you a very fluid scene. Uh, details are changing by the minute here as Davis police is now converging behind this SWAT vehicle. I'll step aside so you can see right now figuring out their plan of attack here on Tula. But what they're really dealing with is Adrian Drive. Within the last several hours, Davis police were serving a restraining order on Adrian Drive, which is just basically straightened down towards the left. The person inside the home declined to come out. The person, by the way, is wanted on an outstanding weapons charge, uh, charges. Uh, Loyola Drive, which is near. Adrian has been evacuated. Uh, we have witnessed Davis police taking cover behind a tree. They had a rifle drawn and a handgun drawn hiding behind taking cover, waiting. They, in fact, told us to leave and break down our live truck because we could possibly be in the line of fire. Right now, a lot of people are on uh, high alert, kind of antsy in this neighborhood. Uh, we've talked to a couple of uh, residents just uh, around the corner from the crime tape. Here's what they had to say about witnessing a standoff in their own backyard. I wouldn't expect this for Davis though, because like Davis is like a small town that like no, I really don't think it should happen here. But my grandma lives on Loyola, and I I'm kind of scared for her, but I really don't think it should be happening in Davis. And Davis police right now believe that there was only one person inside the 26 year old that they are dealing with that they originally had served that warrant for. Uh, they do not know at this time if there are any guns inside, but since it was a weapons charge, they believe that the person could, in fact, be very well armed and dangerous. But again, we'll monitor this. We'll stay on top of this here in the city of Davis this evening, Sam. All right, Sean, thank you very much. Live for us tonight in Davis.